جنتي سالي صوني ما ساقي وصوتي وصاقي شيرو ساقي وصاثانا توصوص Peace be with you all and with your spirit. Oh, Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saint, the honored disciples and holy apostles, Many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of you. Oh, saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Remember also our Master. All those who have asked us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you, Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of our soul, the salvation of our soul, the hope of us all, the healing of us all. You are the resurrection of us all. David <speaking in Hebrew> Ten, 
Shlilowi, <laughs> Stand up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel, a reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew. The evangelist may his blessings be with us all. All, 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 all. Amen. Oh, in so of no toy, so tin of no roti, and his own souls of she named no Beyond of shining, be off up and not to be shot and enter in a tear. I mean, from the song. Of our teacher David the prophet and the king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Blow the trumpet at the new moon in the glorious day of your feast. Rejoice in God our helper. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and produce the timbrel, the pleasant psaltery with the harp. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord God, Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom be glory forever. Jerusalem and came to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a coat with her. Loose them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, 
The Lord has need of them, and immediately he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you lowly, and sitting on a donkey, a coat of fold of a donkey. So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. They brought the donkey and the colt, laid their clothes on them, and set him on them. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road. Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, O Son to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sanna, in the highest. And when he had come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? So the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who brought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold do doves. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer. But if you made it a den of thieves, then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying out in the temple, saying, O son to the son of David, they were indignant and said to him, Do we hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read out the mouth of babes and nursing infants? You have perfected praise. Then he left them and went out of the city to Bethany, and he lodged there. And glory be to God forever. O sanna in yete chosi fai pe e porum pi esra. Marod in Jeffy Ethneo, never on him a choice in ten gum Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Osana fil Ali has a whole Malik Israel Mubarak on a letty. This miracle goes. A gospel according to St. Mark, may his blessings be with us all, amen. Now when they drew near Jerusalem to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, and he said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and as soon as you have entered it, you will find the colt tied on which no one has sat. Loose it and bring it, and if anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and immediately he will send it there, here, so they went their way and found the colt tied by the door outside of the street, and they loose it. But some of those who stood there said to them, What are you doing loosing the colt? And they spoke to them just as Jesus has commanded. So they let them go. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their clothes on it, and he sat on it. And many spread their clothes on the road, and others cut down leafy branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then those who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, O Sanna, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David. Then that comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. And Jesus went into Jerusalem, into the temple. So when he had looked around at all things, at the hour was already late. He went out to Bethany with the twelve. And glory be to God forever. He who sits upon the cherubim today has appeared in Jerusalem, riding on a cloak with great glory surrounded by ranks of angels El Galis Fauca Sherobim El Yawm Azahar Fi Urud Shalim Rakiban Ala Ka'ashim Bimagdin Azim the gospel according to our teacher St. Luke may his blessings be with us all Amen And it came to pass when he came near to Bethpage and Bethany at the mountain called Olivet that he sent two of his disciples saying go into the village opposite you where as you enter you will find a cold tide on which no one has ever sat, loose it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, why are you loosing it? Thus you shall say to him, because the Lord has need of it. So those who were sent went their way, and found it just as he had said to them. But as they were loosing the colt, the owner of it said to them, why are you loosing the colt? And they said, the Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus, and they threw their own clothes on the colt, and they sat Jesus on him. And as he went, many spread their clothes on the road. Then as he was now drawing near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven, glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these things should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out. Now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If you had known even you, especially in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes, for days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment around you. Surround you and close you in on every side And level you and your children within you To the ground And they will not leave in you One stone upon the other Because you did not know the time of your visitation Then he went into the temple And began to drive out those who brought and sold in it Saying to them, it is written My house is a house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves. And he was teaching daily in the temple. But the chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people sought to destroy him and were unable to do anything, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. And glory be to God for Claiming with him, Hosanna 
to the son of David, fit tari farashwal khamsan wa min ashagar qatao aksan wa hum yasihuna bil alhan o sanna if she So Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear, and have not heard them, but as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear, may be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels, through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, So our mass of those who ask us to remember them on supplications and prayers which we offer unto you, O Lord, our God. To those who already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. If you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Salmos to David shall be performed Alleluia Alleluia oh, Alleluia Oh you who hear prayer to you flesh will come Tevet <laughs> Listen to the Holy Gospel, the Gospel according to our teacher, St. John the Evangelist. May his blessing 
Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to his all glory now and forever. that had come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out Hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name in of the Lord, the King of Israel. Then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were written about him and that they had done these things to him. Therefore the people who were with him when he called Lazarus out of his tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. For this reason the people also met him because they heard that he had done these signs. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, You see that you are accomplishing nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. And glory be to God for The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. I like to start through the grace of God and your prayers and the prayer of my Father with a quote from Abu Nabshoi Kamil. He said, The purpose of the incarnation, Christ entering into Jerusalem, our crucifixion is to free us from the devil and from Christ to live in us so we can enter into the kingdom and enjoy eternal life with him. So basically he's saying that the purpose of any <coughs> celebration or the incarnation or entering into Jerusalem, Palm Sunday, Easter, everything that we do and everything that God had done for us, the sole purpose is to enter into his kingdom, enjoy our eternity with our Lord Jesus Christ. So, if we can imagine when people found out that Jesus will be coming to Jerusalem, all sorts of people went to meet him. All types of people, all types of thinking, and all types of um, intentions. If we just say, Today, someone's going to come from this door and say, you know what, in a couple hours after the liturgy, 
Jesus Christ will come to Journal Square and um, around 2 or 3 o'clock. All sort of people will go. But the question here today we ask ourselves, what kind of person that I will go and see Jesus Christ? Because there are those who just go as a bystander and watch as if an entertainment show is happening. I'm sure at the time people came, who is this Jesus that people are talking about? And they just went as a bystander watching as Jesus entering into Jerusalem. And many times we feel we do the same, that we come to church just to socialize and just to see people and just to, as a bystander. No intention of any um, improvement or anything like that. And there's other type of people who would probably go as a follower. You know, hey, did you hear, you know, Jesus coming to Jerusalem today? Let's go and see what's going on. Oh, okay, sure, I have nothing to do, so let's go. And unfortunately, this is a very um, dangerous type of person to be like, to be a follower, always following people and following their footsteps. They went today and they praised Hosanna, the son of David, and they said just like them, Hosanna, the son of David. They went back home, they went back home. A few days later, they say crucify him with their friends as well. They say crucify him. They have no their own thinking or their own in, um, ability to think on their own or to feel on their own. Everyone has control over my life except me. I'm the only one who don't have control over my life. There are also those type of people that have the intention, just like the Pharisees, to go to criticize only and to see what's good and what's bad. And maybe there's not a lot of those type of people, but there are always someone that will come to church and say, hmm, I wonder what she's wearing today. I wonder, you know, if he's coming early today or he's going to sit all the way in the front even though he's coming late. I wonder how, what the deacon's going to say today and how they're going to look. Are they going to sound good or are they not going to sound good? I wonder if the liturgy and everything in their mind is just to criticize, just like the Pharisees criticized our Lord Jesus Christ. But of course we have those good people that want to see with the intention that they want to benefit, with the intention that they want to present Jesus Christ their whole life under his feet so he could change it and step every over every sin that could harm us or prevent us from getting to our goal, which is to be with our Lord Jesus Christ in eternity. Those are the people that come to church would have all the intention in their mind. Would there be temptation? Yes. There will be people trying to talk us, talk to us in liturgy and distract us. Yes, there will be distraction. Yes, but I have the intention. And I pray to God that, God, I want to be the one who come here to benefit and have the intention to come closer to you every time I walk into this house. The next question we'd like to ask ourselves today is, those who went to see Christ, if I go see Christ today in Journal Square, if someone said, like we said, and I'm going to go meet him, will I just watch and not say anything and not do anything? Or would I have a request for him, or I would have a question at least to ask him that he would do for me? Would I ask him, like those who were praising Hosanna, which means save now, Lord, today I'm going to see you, and I'm going to see you every day of my life, and I want you to come and save me. I want you to come in my life, I want you to come in my house. I want you, to, want you to control everything in me so you could save me today and not tomorrow. Will I ask him, since you're going to save me now, Lord, as those who offered you their garments and put it under your feet, I ask you, Lord, to take my earthly and filthy garments under you, under your feet, so you could destroy all the sin that's in my life, and replace it with a heavenly garment that I could live with. And this heavenly garment I will need in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And this 
was clarified by one of the parables, if you remember, that said that Jesus Christ taught us the parable of the kingdom of heaven, where the king had a great feast for his son. Then, just to go to the last point of the parable, that he saw one who was not wearing the right garment for the wedding. He asked them, take this person out of this um, of my house and throw him outside. And this garment resembles those who live a life that's not ready for to enter the kingdom of heaven with. So today, we ask him, Lord, take my filthy garment that's full of sins, that's full of desires, that's full of lust, and replace it with a garment of repentance. Replace it with a garment of forgiving others. Replace it with a garment of giving others and to love to give. Replace it, Lord, with a garment that love to praise you and love to be with you every second, every minute of my life. Replace it, Lord, with a garment that's full of sacrificing of my desires and my, of this world and the lust of this world. When I see our Lord Jesus Christ, when I ask him, Lord, since you came on the cult to teach us humility, I ask you, Lord, to teach me humility, because without humility, I will not enter the kingdom of heaven. As he said, God will resist the proud. Lord, as we saw the children running behind you with their simplicity and praising, and you, the Jews told you, please tell your disciples to be quiet and stop singing. He said, even if I tell them to be quiet, as is mentioned in Psalm 8, out of the mouth of the babes and the sucklings, I prepare praise. Not that because they understand and not because they, they know where they sing. No, because he wants us to be as simple as those children. To be as simple in faith. When I was younger or at one point in my life, I used to have the simple faith. I believe I, made a, I committed a sin. I know I committed a sin. I'm going to confess about it. But now maybe I have this complicated, sophisticated type of thinking. Well, you know, I got angry because... A, B, and C. Or I curse because mm, he deserved it or she deserved it. I start justifying my, my sins because I don't have that simple faith and the simple type of attitude any longer. Give me, Lord, the simplicity to te deal with others. When we were younger, we dealt with everyone the same. We loved everyone. We cared for everyone. We get upset for a few minutes and everything is back to normal in a few minutes. But now things are sophisticated again and complicated. And, you know, oh, I can't believe she said this about me. I can't believe he looked at me this way. You know, how could you talk to me this way? I'm, you know, I'm not young anymore. Talk to me in a very respectful manner. What happened to the simplicity as God gave us and created us with? God gave me the simplicity that and the attitude towards learning and learn and gaining more knowledge and getting more in my life. If we look at the Sunday school classes from the youngest to the oldest, and we see the number getting less and less and less, even though they are the same people. Where everyone's going. But the thought that I don't need to gain anymore, the thought that I, I had enough, I know enough, I don't need to benefit anymore, always gets in our way from the simplicity and the attitude of towards learning more and benefiting more. There are so many things I could benefit from, but sometimes I pick and choose. No, not today, not this year, not this month, not from this person, but the simplicity is the Word of God is the Word of God, and I'm going to learn from it no matter what, and I need to learn no matter how advanced I think I am. Also, as the Lord cleansed the altar, will I approach him and tell him, God, since you cleansed the altar from all impurities, from all the filthy things, I ask you, Lord, today to purify me and cleanse me from all impurity. Lord, when I come to this house, I want to leave behind all desires of this world. I want to leave behind 
all the hate I had for my brothers or my sister or for anyone else. Lord, when I come to this house, I want to leave all grudges behind me. I want to leave all judging behind me. I want to leave all arrogance behind me. I want to come and simply present you myself so you could cleanse me as you cleanse the altar. If we notice the gospel of today's um, matins, it was about what? Zacchaeus. As Zacchaeus, as Jesus saw Zacchaeus on the tree, told him, today, come down from the tree quickly, because I want to come to your house. And when he went to his house, he told him, today, there will be salvation into this house. To Zacchaeus also followed the command of our Lord Jesus Christ, and he came down quickly. And I was thinking for a second, you know, I wonder if this was just maybe one of, if we just think about it as a contemplation, not as an explanation, that maybe today God is entering to Jerusalem and he's telling us, you might not have this chance again where I invite myself into your house. I might not, you might not have this chance again, and that's why I need to come and come quickly. So when I invite our Lord in my life, he will come and say, today there is salvation. I remember a story that I heard in a funeral, very quickly, that the angel came to someone and asked him for his life. He said, hold on, I'm not ready yet, because this person was not a righteous person at all. He said, please give me time to repent and to rethink my life and to change. He said, okay, God will grant you uh, an extension to your life so you could improve and you could inherit the kingdom. So years passed by, he never learned his lesson and lived the same life and probably even worse. And before the angel had departed, and I must say that he said, please, when you come again, please give me at least a week or four days notice. I just I could get ready and you know concentrate on my, uh, that my last day. So he said, okay. So he came back after many years. He said, today, today, God was asking for your soul. He said, wait, wait, wait. We had an agreement that you're going to give me at least four to seven days at least. He said, well, I gave you so, God gave you so many chances. Ten years ago, you attended a funeral of so-and-so. Five years ago, you attended a liturgy and you heard a sermon about repentance. Last year, you attended a liturgy. Just last month, you were reading the gospel. And all these chances, and you say, God didn't give you a chance? I'm sorry, but today is your last day. Sometimes we think we have eternity, or as His Holiness was, used to say that, when I get older, I will repent. So that means exactly, I'm telling God, I will deny you till I get older. I will deny you till I repent. No, today, just as Zacchaeus hurried and invited Jesus into his life, today I would like to ask God to, Help me to hurry in my repentance so I could follow you. I'll tell you a secret that everyone knows. Obviously, it's not a secret. Um, Jesus Christ is not coming to Journal Square. You know why? Because Jesus Christ right here in front of us. Jesus Christ is with us every day. Jesus Christ, I take him, and he lives in me, and I live in him every time I take communion. So why wait Till another minute or another second while Jesus Christ in front of him today, in front of us today, while I could ask him now, while I'm praying, God, any request that I have, I could ask him and tell him, I want to change. I want to repent. I want to hurry and make change in my life. Because God, as we know, the palm trees resembles victory. And that's why they hold, they cut palm branches from the trees because they thought, you know, he's the victorious king and he will come and save us. They thought from an earthly perspective, but he came to save us from a spiritual perspective, an eternal perspective. So today, I want to lift up my heart and ask you, God, that I want salvation in my house. I want this journey to end with salvation, with the crucifixion, and therefore salvation. And therefore, I'm worthy to hold the palm trees because you're going to make us victorious over Satan and his evil powers. And as mentioned in the book of Revelation, those who went through many tribulations are now holding the palm trees in their hands because 
now they're enjoying the life of victory and glory be to God forever. Amen. Are fulfilled from the prophecies and proverbs as Zechariah prophesied and said a prophecy about Jesus Christ and Yomatem We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father of all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, co-essential with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnated of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and is crucified for us in the Pontius Pilate, suffered and is buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead. According to the scriptures, he ascended into the heavens, he sits at right hand of his Father, and he's come again in his glory, judge the living dead, whose kingdom shall have known. Yes, to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, proceeds from the Father, who the Father, the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic Catholic church, we confess our baptism of sin, we look for the resurrection of the dead and life giving you journey. Ten goste volchait henti anastasi senten irem maot nem bi on gente bi eon etne. of Christos, Co-enthroned, co-creator with the Father, who, for the sake of goodness, only brought man into existence out of non-existence and put him in the paradise of joy. And when he fell through the deception of the enemy and the disobedience of your holy commandment, you desire to renew him and to restore him to his first estate. Neither an angel. Nor an archangel 
neither a patriarch nor a prophet have you entrusted with our salvation. But you, without change, were incarnate and became man and resemble us in everything except for sin alone and became for us a mediator with the Father and the middle wall you have broken down and the old enmity you have abolished you have reconciled the earthly with the heavenly and made the two into one and fulfilled the economy in the flesh and at your ascension into the heavens in the body having filled all with your divinity you said to your holy disciples and apostles my peace I gave to you my peace I live with you the same also now grant to us O our master and cleanse us from all blemish all guile all hypocrisy all vice and craftness and the remembrance of vice bearing this. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic greetings. Lord, have mercy. And make us all worthy, our master, to greet one another with a holy kiss that without falling into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift through your grace and the goodwill of your good Father and the work of your Holy Spirit. For you are the provider and giver of all goodness. <laughs> Christ our Savior with great humility Oh, uh, no.
children were praying and saying in the uh, highest, this is the king of it. Is Oh, 
clergy and all the people with prayer and thanksgiving and calmness and quietness Lift up your eyes towards the east to see the altar and the body and blood of Emmanuel, our God,
روز که ای خارستو منوگه نوز ایو کیره
the principality is blessed and to whom the dominion cry you are he whose glory the authorities declares you are he unto whom throne sent up the honor thousands of thousands stand be for you and ten thousand times ten thousands offer you service you are he whom the invisible blessed and the visible worship all they all do your work oh our master you who are seated stand oh you Manifested to us the light of the Father, who has granted us the true knowledge of the Holy Spirit, who has manifested to us this great mystery of life, who has established the rising of the choir of the incorporeal among men, who has given to the earthly the prayer. Ezing of the seraphim receive from us also our voices together with the invisible count us with the heavenly Let us also say with them, having cast away from us all the thoughts of evil imagination and proclaimed that which they send up with unceasing voices and unfailing lips and praise you. Greatness. Look toward the east. You are he around whom stand the cherubim and the seraphim. Six wings to the one and six wings to the other. With two they cover their faces and with two they cover their feet and with two they fly. And one cries to another and send up the hymn of victory and salvation which is ours with a voice full of glory they praise they sing they proclaim they cry out say let us attend Holy Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your holy glory.
holy, O Lord, and holy are you in everything, and most excellent in the light of your essence. Ineffable is the power of your wisdom, and no manner of speech can measure the depth of your love towards mankind. You, as a lover of mankind, have created me as a man. You had no need for my servitude, but rather I have need of your Lordship. Because of the multitude of your tender mercies, you have brought me into existence when I was not. You have raised heaven as a roof for me and established the earth for me to walk upon. For my sake, you have bound the sea. For my sake, you have manifested the nature of the animals. You have subjected all things under my feet. You have not left me in need of any of the works of your honor. You <coughs> are he who formed me and laid your hand upon me and inscribed in me the image of your authority. You have placed me in the gift of speech and opened for me the paradise to enjoy and have given me the learning of your knowledge. You have manifested to me the tree of life <laughs> and made known to me this, the sting of death. For one plant you have forbidden me to eat, that of which you have said to me, of this only do not eat, but according to my will I did eat. I put your law behind me, and my own counsel and became slothful towards your commandments. I blocked for myself the sentence of death. Lord, have mercy. punishment into salvation as a good shepherd you have thought after that which has gone astray as a true father you have travailed with me I who have fallen you have bound me with all the remedies to lead to life you are he who has sent to me the prophets for my sake I the sick you have given me the law as a help you are he who has ministered salvation to me, and when I disobeyed your law as a true light, you have shone upon the lost and the ignorant. Lord, have mercy. to us on the earth you have come into the womb of the virgin you the infinite being God did not consider equality with God as a thing to be grasped but emptied yourself and took the form of a servant <laughs> and blessed my nature in yourself and fulfilled your law on my behalf you have shown me the rising up from my form you have given release to those who bound in hate. You have lifted the curse of the law. You have abolished the sin in the flesh. You have shown me the power of your authority. You have given the sight to the blind. You have raised the dead from the tomb. You have established the nature by your word. You have manifested to me the economy of your tender mercy. You have borne the oppression of the wicked. You have given the back to the scourge. Your cheeks have left upon those who smite for my sake. 
O my master, you have not hidden your face from the shame of spirit. of your coming wherein you shall come to judge the living and the dead you have gi and give each one according to his name Oh, oh, oh. 
mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sin. symbols of my freedom I write my works according to your sayings you are he who has given me this service full of mystery you have given me the partaking of your flesh in the bread and your wine up for your own will and authority alone he took bread into his holy hand which are without spot blemish and life gave we believe that this is true father and master of everyone and when he had given thanks Amen. he blessed it Amen. he sanctified it Amen. we believe we confess and we glorify he broke it and gave it to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles saying take eat of it all of you for this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me. This is true. Amen. Likewise, also the cup after supper, he mixed it with wine and water. And when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it, Amen. he sanctified it. saintly disciples and holy apostles saying take drink of all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me this is also true this cup you proclaim my death confess my resurrection and remember me till I come Amen, Amen, Amen your death O Lord we proclaim your holy resurrection and the ascension into the Thank you, oh Lord, and we
holy passion, his resurrection from the dead, his ascension to the heaven, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from heaven, O awesome and full of glory. We offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything, concerning everything and everything. Worship God in fear and trembling. Praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. Oh, 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 oh. Let us attend. Amen. into his holy body I believe Allah, Amen and this cup also the precious blood of his new covenant again I believe sins and eternal life for those who partake of him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Make us all worthy our master to partake of your holy unto the purification of souls, bodies and spirits that we may become one body and one spirit and may have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O oh Lord, the peace of your own only holy Catholic and apostolic church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. which you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ. Keep heart and peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in heart. Remember, O oh Lord, the soul of our blessed Father, the honor patriarch Pope of Ashinuda. Graciously, O oh Lord, repose his soul with your saints grant to appoint for us a good shepherd to shepherd your people in purity and righteousness. Pray for the soul of our blessed and honored Father, Pope of Ashinuda the Third, that the Lord God may repose it in the bosom of our holy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the paradise of joy, and to appoint for us a good shepherd and for our Orthodox bishops. salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our orthodox fathers pray for, <coughs> pray for the egomans priests deacons and subdeacons and the seven orders of the church of god lord have mercy who dwell there in, in God's face. And all the same and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O oh Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us all. Lord. 
and those who dwell there in God's face. Be Ha! Uh-huh. 
son of David Hosanna 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 the king of Israel Lord have mercy of heart give dignity to the world good temper to the earth graciously accord O Lord to bless the air of heaven the fruit of the earth the waters of the river the seeds herbs and the plants of the field this year the fruits of the earth, the rising of the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year, that Christ our God may bless them, have compassion on his creation which his hands have made, and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. their measure according to your grace give joy to the face of the earth may its furrows be abundantly watered and its fruit be plentiful prepare it for sowing and harvesting manage our lives as deem fit bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people the other the orphans the traveler the stranger for the sake of us all who entreat you and seek your holy name for the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O you who give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound. And every go did Lord have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, those who have brought you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord, As this, O Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning, our Holy Father. Others, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous, perfected in the face most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, sent me. Truly give birth to God, the Lord.
and St. John the forerunner, Baptist and martyr, St. Stephen, the archdeacon and proto-martyr, the beholder of God, the evangelist, St. Mark, holy a martyr and apostle, the patriarch, St. Savior, our teacher, discourse, St. Athanasius, the apostolic, St. Peter, the holy martyr and high priest, St. John Christom, St. Theodosius, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Kyrillus, St. Basil, St. Gregory the theologian, St. Gregory the wonder worker, St. Gregory the Armenian, the 318 assembly at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, our righteous father, the great Abba Antony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saint Abba Macari, and all their children, the cross, Bear our, our father, Abba John, the Higumen, our righteous father, Abba Bishoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, Nimpinot, Abba Babli, Prim Tammo, Nimizek, Ilb, Mazidis, Nashos, Nimot, Swab, Romeos, Maximus, Nimzumatios, Nimbe, Mercy, the Martyros, Nikolon, Teshit, Nimbigon, Swab, Abba Mose, Nimiannis, Kami, Be, Presbyteros, Nimbinot, Abba Daniel, Be, Romanos, Nimbinot, Abba Isis, or Be, Presbyteros, Nimbinot, Abba Bachon, Fatikinonia, Nimzeodros, the Mazidis, Nimbinot, Abba Shinu, the Bear, Shiman, and Dritis, Nimawisa, Be, Mazidis, Nim, Ebhoros, Tirf, and Tanius, Oab, and Tak, and all the choir of your sins, through prayer and supplication, have mercy on us all, and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O oh Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. May their holy blessings be with us. Amen. Glory to you. of joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem in that place and we too who are sojourners in this place keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end as it was and shall throughout the way into your kingdom that as in this so also in all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with Jesus Christ your beloved son uh, and the Holy Spirit peace be with you all and with your spirit God 
God, the Pantocrat, or the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who has also made us worthy now to stand in this holy place and to lift up our hands to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and the partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. Amen. Ah.